what's going on guys so in this video today I'm gonna to be doing a short tutorial on how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC so there's only three things you need you need your computer obviously you need your DualShock 4 controller and you need a micro USB cable so let's go ahead and get started All right, so first you're gonna come over to your PC as you can see here and you're gonna to go to this website so as you can see it's called ds4windows.com I'll put a link in the, in the uh, description and so it's gonna to come to this page and you're just gonna click download now and so now we just want to take the latest version so 1.4.52 right now just click on the dot, dot zip file and it's gonna download downloads real quick just click on that it'll open up your file explorer and now you want to use whatever kind of extracting software you have and extract these files I'm just going to go ahead and extract them to my downloads and now you can see two different uh, files ds4updater.executable and ds4windows and so you're going to go ahead and just open up ds4windows so double click on that alright so once you've installed ds4windows and open it up you'll get this pop up right here that says step one install a ds4 driver so you're going to want to click on that and then also if you're on Windows 7 or below you're going to also need to install the 360 driver so downloads real quick and once it's finished installing you just press finish alright so now that we have this up right now I don't have any the controller connected or anything so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect it with a micro USB cable and also how to connect it with uh, Bluetooth just via Bluetooth so first of all let's just show you how you do it via micro USB cable. First of all, you, all you need to do is just plug your micro USB cable into a USB port on your computer and then pl plug your other end into your DualShock 4 controller. And as you can see, my controller is now popped up and it works now. So ba basically all this is doing, since natively the D DualShock 4 controller can't connect to your uh, computer, it just, this program makes it makes the computer recognize it as an Xbox 360 controller so for the micro USB uh, version it's really easy you should plug it in and it works and so you gotta also make sure that you leave this program up all the time when you're using it or else it might mess up so now I'm gonna show you how to do it via Bluetooth so for Bluetooth as you can see I now have my controller disconnected from my micro USB cable and what you wanna do is to turn on the Bluetooth search feature is hold down share and the PlayStation button right here for about three seconds together just wait for the there's gonna be a light see now you can see there's a, a light in the black flashing that means it's searching so now I'll go over back over to the uh, computer now that you have your controller searching for a Bluetooth connection you want to make sure that your Bluetooth uh, on your computer is on so if you come over here you can see on mine I have my Bluetooth turned on and now I'm just gonna search for my Bluetooth settings and so that we compare it with the controller so got my Bluetooth settings up up, Bluetooth is on, and you can see wireless controller is ready to pair. So I'm just gonna click on that and click pair. All right, so now that they they're pairing together, you can see there's a little status bar, and once it's full, that means they're gonna be it's gonna be paired. All right, so now that they're paired, you can come back over to your DS4 Windows uh, menu, and you can see that your Bluetooth controller is now connected, and you can see your Bluetooth status right here, so you know it's connected, and so. You'll, you'll know if it's connected and working if you just touch the trackpad and move it around because that'll just move your mice your mouse around and that means your Bluetooth controller is now working. So that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future and definitely leave some comments down below if you if you have some issues or need some help with something and have a great day. Thanks for watching.